G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do another little ghost pour for you today. I've got a lot of these little tubs of leftover paint. Um, so I'm going to use them. They're too thin for me to use on flip cups. They hardly even leave a mound. So I've got lots of them. So I'm going to just do a few little ghost pours for you. Um, some of my paints have just got Floetrol in them. Some have got my 60-40 glue water mix. I really can't remember which is which, but they're all roughly the same consistency, which is more important. And uh, I'm going to go from there. The white is three parts of my, because I've just made this one up. Um, it's 60-40, so it's three parts of the um, pouring medium, 60 parts glue, Seven, uh, 40 parts water and so I've got that three parts of pouring medium to one part of white paint and this one is the Montmartre so that's what I'm using in that one I've got my three little cups here so I'll just pop a little bit of paint in each don't need a lot of paint at all and I've still got heaps left <laughs> so I'm gonna do a, a white background um, and then I've got this dark green and dark blue and some gold. The gold is the Deco Art. Let me grab it for you. Um, <clears throat> it's the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallic Gold. So that's that one, 24K gold. So it's usually mixed two to one with Floetrol. I think that's probably what I've got in there. Uh, the other two paints, I um, can't even remember what they are, whether they're Global or uh, Montmartre. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, so I've got my little plastic little sheets cut up. The other thing that is a good idea, if you're going to be using these, just trim off the corners because sometimes it, like digs in so just round them off with a pair of scissors like so and do the other side as well because when one side gets dirty you can always flip it round and use the other side so just do those see like that just gets rid of those little digging in corners this was just a document holder that I, I cut up plastic document holder. I won't do them all. I'll just do two sides for now while you're watching. Yeah, uh, just from the office supply store, a document holder that I cut up. But any sort of sheet of plastic will do. Really. It needs to have a little bit of a weight to it. Let me just <laughs> flip those over there. This is just my thick card that I use for my little practice pours. Okay, so let's get going. Um, we'll just tip the, the white paint out. I've got about 200 grams, I think. Yes, 200 grams of white paint. I've got about 130 grams of the pouring medium to um, 60 grams of paint. So it's about a third paint. And I'm just going to Spread that out and then I'll tilt it so that I get a nice smooth finish. So when you're doing these ghost pours, the background I think needs to be a little bit thinner. So I usually do the background at three to one and I do the paints two to one. It's three parts pouring medium to one part paint and paints two to one which is two parts pouring medium to one part paint. So that's roughly what I, I do. So it leaves a tiny, tiny little mound when you drizzle it into the, the cup. So now, because we don't want to see any um, palette knife little marks, have enough on there that you can actually, you know, tip it around. Make sure that you get a lovely smooth finish. And then just try and recenter it again. And gone over this corner here. Okay, that's got it. And then you can give it a quick torch if you like, if you've got some bubbles. Because 
So I've got quite a few bubbles, so let's pop those with the torch. No silicone in any of the paints today. When your paints are relatively thin, you do get uh, like a natural lacing occurring anyway. And the 24K gold in the Deco art, it makes cells anyway. So if you want a few little cells, put one of the put one of your colours as the metallic and then the other two or three in just your regulars. You don't have to use metallics in all of them. Um, but yeah, it is nice to have one metallic, I think, to get some little reactions happening. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so I've got my three different sizes of card and what I'm going to do, instead of doing straight lines, um, I'm going to do like a wiggle line because when you do straight lines, you pull that colour down and it's the same all the way through, whereas if you do a wiggle, you sort of pick up different colours as you go. So that's what I'm going to do and not a lot of paint at all. You don't need a lot of paint. So there's a little wiggle there. Always start off your canvas or your card or whatever you're using first, um, just so that um, your blob lands there because otherwise you end up with a big blob on your card or your canvas. Okay, I'll do two of gold because I want lots of gold. And actually do a little bit more of the blue because I love blue. We go. All right, let's get started. So, see, as I as I put my card here, I'm getting different colours. I'm not just getting one colour. There's a bit of navy. There's a bit of gold in line with the top of my card. So I'm going to get different colours as I come along. So just you can do it this way if you want to. If you want to put apply more pressure, you do it that way. If you want to do less pressure, then you sort of just do it this way with your thumb on top. I think what I'm going to do is try and get some colour coming through and then wisp it out towards the end. So thicker there and then wispy there. So let's see how we go. Hey? Oh, that's a pretty one. <laughs> and now I'm going to try my little one. And I'll leave a, little, a few little gaps because I'm going to do my other one in between. Don't want them all to be the same. Okay. Oh, I didn't put my paper towel down. Naughty me. Naughty me. Let me just grab that. Because I can use this piddle pad again then. Um, if I just put this bit of paper towel down and then when it gets dirty I can just throw the paper towel away and then I can reuse this piddle pad because it won't be too dirty. Okay, might have got a little bit too much paint on here, you know. That was a really tiny little thin strip but might have been a bit thick. So now what you can do is you can go over these bigger ones if you want to. You don't have to but you can if you want to. Just like that, like little strips, just to sort of break everything up a bit. So totally up to you what you want to do with those. Okay. Oh, look at that cell coming through. Now I'm going to turn it around, I'm going to do the other side, and then I may come back and do that side again. We'll see what happens. But it looks as if I may have been a little bit heavy-handed with my paint. <clears throat> okay. That's more of the look I'm going for. So you have more of a sort of a wispy look, I guess. So I may take some of that blue and drag it down here. Go back to my other size and bring some of that gold through. Okay, well, that's looking.
looking pretty. I really like this area here that's got more white on it. I didn't actually save any white. It's a little bit, scrape a little bit out of my cup. So just because your background's white doesn't mean that you can't swipe with the white as well. I think it looks really pretty, having a little bit in the middle there as well. And a little bit more gold, I think. I think I, as I said, I think I was a little bit heavy-handed with the colour to begin with. You only need a tiny, tiny little bit of colour for these. Otherwise, you don't get that wispy look because you're dragging too much paint down. All right, let's take some of this white through and some of that gold. And I like that there. It's really pretty and um, pale going through that way. So let's leave that there. And I'm going to see if I can bring some white down this side. So dripped. There we go. See, I just took the white over the top there. Now I dropped there, so I'm gonna have to just do that. And I'm gonna take some of this gold through here. Oops, I dropped my plastic. Pick him up. Oh, I can't pick him up with my gloves on. There we go, got him. I really should have a damp cloth here, shouldn't I? to wipe these off because they're getting quite painty. <laughs> All right. How's that looking? Just going to add a little bit more white in a couple of areas. Because I've got that white there, I needed some more white just to balance that. That's my, my thought. And I haven't got much gold here, so let's just pop a little bit of gold. Always catch your drips, otherwise they go into the middle. And you don't want that. So the thing with this sort of technique is knowing when to stop. Uh, maybe start with a little bit less paint. And then you can always add more if you want to. Okay, so I needed just to put some gold through there, which I did. And I need to bring this down here. I don't like how that stops right there. So I'm just going to bring that down, maybe with a little bit of white. Like so. Okay, I think that's about it. I like how some of them come all the way down and then some don't. And I'll give it a quick torch. Love those colours, hey. Pretty. A bit of a torch that may bring up some some little cells. A lot. Oops. I do think the flow troll works better if you're wanting cells. Um, but yeah, just wanted to, as I said, use up some of these paints. Some of them have got glue in them, some of them have got flow troll in them. I don't really know what they've got in. Love that there. It's my favourite spot there where that white just goes over that, that gold. It kind of just stopped there. I kind of needed it just to continue a little bit. So, all right, I think I'm done. Done like a dinner. Put my cards there so that I can wash them in a minute. Um, I guess the mix may have been... A little bit 
too thick still because I'm not getting much in the way of cells coming up. Did there. Um, but over here, there's really not much coming through. But that's okay. As I said, I just want to use up the paints. Have a play. <laughs> so we'll see a few of these coming through because I've got... Look at the paints. I've got all these made up, ready to go. Um, so they do need to be used. So I'll do that. Okay, here we go. Now that's the area there that I was telling you that I really like. Just in there kind of made some lacing with the white it's really pretty so we've got a few cells not too much just something for a little bit of interest hey I don't think you have to have cells everywhere a few are nice and we've got that wispy ghosty look of the blue fading away into the background more so over here on this side. So it just fades away. Ghost-like. <laughs> Especially there. Look at that. So yeah, I think I had way too much paint. Otherwise, it would have all been more like that. More wispy. Sorry. Less paint next time. <laughs> I'll do that. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that little vid. And uh, I'll be back with some more colours. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.